Okay, Mary, so I've copied this link and you can put that link into, into your Google Classroom or however you attend to share the links with your students. Um, I'm just gonna go over here to another website, uh, another browser, and I'm gonna paste it in the top. And the, so this is what the student would see from their point of view. So um, th they'll be asked actually to possibly log in with a Google account. They do not have to do that, but they, will, they should put in their name. So I've entered my name to begin and I'll click on go. And what students will need to do is students will first begin by clicking on this make my challenge gray box on the left hand side. And then they're going to put in two numbers. This first number works best if it's between 100 and 300. If it's much larger than that, it's maybe too big. Like if I type in a 400, you still see nothing because I also need to put in a number down here. Um, it's you know, so if I make it too big, it, it it's kind of weird, but I'll leave it like that for right now. Um, so they'll need to put numbers in both these places first before a clover appears. And what I have found out is that this number down here in the bottom, um, if it's if it's about 10% of this number, that's going to give you a really nice looking clover. Don't tell the kids that. I would let them kind of experiment with some different numbers, but they're going to have to put both numbers in first before they see anything. And then click on Submit. And up here in the upper right corner, they'll click on the next button. And on this page is where they um, get their colors. So this first number should be between 0 and 255. And if I make it 255, it's just going to be a whole lot of red. I'll make that 200. Uh, this next number is the amount of green in it. I will make that 255. Oh, that's an ugly looking color. It's still not very pretty. And then I'll make this one 100. This is the amount of blue that is in your shape. So uh, again, w w those numbers should be between 0 and 255 and let the kids experiment and play with different colors. Click on Submit at the bottom and then go up to the Next button and click on Next. And now there's this little very faint kind of a stem. So if I make a number like maybe 15, uh, this is my stem. So the kids can drag that back and forth and position the stem how they would like. And I'm going to submit at the end and I'm ready to go. I go to my next page. Um, this is awesome. This is a very brand new feature. I can actually type in some text. So, um, and I can change the color of the text. And I've added very bright colors. I can change the size of the text. And of course, I can move the text around. Kids can also draw. And I've given you the colors of the rainbow so they could change, they could create the colors of the rainbow as well as a gray pot color. So lots of things you can do. Um, when you're happy with it, go to the next page and it gives you kind of like, hmm, the text does not show up. That's something I did not realize that that would not happen. So. Anyway, uh, if they're happy, click on Submit Challenge. Maybe tell them not to use the text feature. That is a bummer. I will click on Submit Challenge, and then that's where it goes. So that's that. Like I said, if I'm around um, on, when you're doing it, just let me know, and I'll come in your room and help.